What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked old battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a light clay Sableye team that also features Flash Fire Cerulean. You guys are a no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, we were using Cerule Edge today. Cerule Edge is so much fun to use. Absolutely love his Pokemon design and love it e even more when I'm using it on the rank ladder. Considering, again, it's one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 9. It's just so dope all around. But Iron Bundle is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview with the cork drive and the booster energy rocket freeze dry hydro pump encore and protect love this move set either this one or the one with icy wind instead of encore is definitely the best for iron bundle flutter main is going to be our second pokemon but not just any flutter main we're rocking choice specs flutter main to make it do as much damage as it possibly can it's got Protosynthesis, alongside moon blast dazzling gleam shadow ball and power gem which is an amazing move set for a choice specs flutter main Sableye is going to be our third Pokemon, and Sableye I haven't really used too much on the rank ladder. I used it a little bit back in ranked, or season one I should say, but never really here in season two. So it's going to be fun to use them and get to showcase them. This one's Prankster, alongside with Lake Clay, so it's here to set up some screens, but Reflect, Light Screen, Encore, and Disable for his moveset. So it's not going to hit at all, it's just here for support purposes only. Cerule Edge is going to be our fourth Pokemon. And Cerule Edge, this one can pair up really well with Sableye. You can pair it up with the screens so it can out bulk and allow it to set up bulk up and then pretty much just sweep the battle from there. It's got the Seal Terror type with Bitter Blade, which is a stab move, and also HP recovery. Then it's got Shadow Sneaker first turn priority. Protect alongside with that leftovers as item. This thing's going to get back a ton of HP and be super bulky when paired up with that Sableye. Dragonite is going to be our fifth Pokemon, and if you guys have been playing this game, you guys know Dragonite is definitely OP, especially with that Choice Band and the uh, normal Terror type. But this one's actually Flying Terror type. Choice Band with Flying Terror type. So it's a little bit different than the normal Terror type, but pretty much the same. It's got E Speed, Terror Blast, Dragon Claw, and Low Kick. Love this moveset for a Choice Band Dragonite. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be another support Pokemon. It is going to be Amoongus. Amoongus is top tier within the Trick Room and really strong without the Trick Room. It's got Regenerator and the Rocky Helmet as item, Pollen Puff, Sport, Rage Powder, and Protect for its four moves. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Sableye and Cerule Edge team. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Corviknight team. I've been seeing tons of Corviknights on the rank ladder, especially here in match number one, but they also have the Iron Hands, Bax Calibur, who I absolutely love, Amoongus, Arcanine, and Grimmsnarl. I feel like we should go into Sableye here. Sableye is definitely a solid lead here. If they're going to go screens with Grimmsnarl, I can go screens with my Sableye. And then on top of that, I really want to lead to Wedge, but I am scared of the whole Arcanine lead. Like, Intimidate could do me a little bit dirty here, and then it can kind of just rip after me. But I still am kind of down with it. So, you know, we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. Because I do think they might lead Corviknight and Grimmsnarl. That's definitely a good option for them. So, I'm going to go in with them too. Got to bring in my Deli Deli Bird. And then last but not least, either Fluttermane or Dragonite. It's definitely the best option, right? I mean, Fluttermane's going to be super effective onto the uh, the Iron Hands, the Bax Caliber, and the Grimmsnarl. Which is really, really good for us. We also have Power Gem on our choice specs that could be super effective on the Arcanine. So, I really do like that. I really do like that. But, yeah. I got to go Fluttermane. I gotta go for me. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. We're just hoping they don't need Arcanine, right? Arcanine could be a problem. Arcanine could be a little bit of a problem. But they might think I'm leading like Deli Bird, so they might not even lead Arcanine. But I definitely want to get out Cerule Edge here and hopefully with the save line, maybe to get a bulk up turn one. Let's see. Grimstarl and Corviknight. So this is solid for us. This is definitely solid for us. So I'm gonna set up a Reflect here, right? Two physical attackers, correct? And I am just going to go into a nice, lovely bulk up. Just a nice bulk up this turn. So I'm going to bulk up this turn. I can also disable moves if I want to. And I kind of get ripping. Because they might even go for an Iron Defense. They might be going for an Iron Defense. But I don't even know what that Corviknight's going to do. I know Grimstar is probably going to set up a screen. Maybe. No, we can't fake out. I was going to say, maybe go for a fake out. But we're two Ghost-type Pokemon. So we end up just withdrawing Corviknight. So this is a really good turn. Are can I going to come out here? It's going to be Bax Calibur. It's going to be Cali. Maxi comes out here, and they're going to set up Reflect. I'm going to set up Reflect, and then I'm just going to bulk up on top of that. So I can actually end up bulking up again if I want to. I could bulk up again if I want to. I could bulk up again if I want to. Do I want to, though? Do I want to? I kind of do, right? I kind of do. Um, hmm. Could set up the light screen. Might as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for another bulk up. 
Do I terror? No, I don't terror because I'm I'm steel. Steel's not bad. I just wonder what move they're gonna go. I'm gonna bulk up again. I got reflex. I got defense boost. Two physical attackers out on the field. If they end up being special attacking, we are just gonna set up a light screen here. I'm gonna bulk up again. We're just gonna bulk this boy up. We got leftovers. We got all that stuff. And he's gonna D dance. Uh, I'm gonna encore him into a D dance. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna keep him into a D dance here. We're just going to Encore him into a D-Dance, and I can constantly set this up if I want to. I might be able to go plus 6, in all honesty. I might be able to go plus 6. He's going to Spirit Break me. I am able to soak, and I'm going to... I'm going to Encore, and I'm going to bulk up again. <laughs> I'm going to bulk up again. Screw it. Let's let's go. Let's go plus 6. We're not plus 6. Let's just keep bulking up. He ends up protecting. I'm going to Encore him into that Protect, if he doesn't KO me. I mean, I'm bulking up again because he's probably spirit breaking into my save lie. And save lie already did its work. It got his screens up and it allowed me to set up three bulk ups, which is amazing. Keep bulking up. Defense is huge right now. Especially going up against physical attackers. I do like that. The spirit break coming in here, probably picking up the KO. Uh, I feel like from here, we could go into flutter main and just pose a threat. But my boy can probably get most of the work done. Right? Could go into Deli Bird, but flutter main's the play. Water main is a play. Lean with the choice specs, and uh, and just go after the backscabber slot with the bitter blade instead of bulking up. I could bulk up again, but I'm gonna go after backscabber here. I am gonna go after backscabber. There's no point for us to really set up the uh, the Terra because I could always Terra with Sruledge, but Sruledge should be able to just dominate this match unless they get a lucky crit. I cry. So light screen comes out here. The screens are out and about for both the teams. You're bulked up pretty well here. Icicle Spear's gonna fly here. That's probably gonna KO me, right? Can you somehow soak? If it stops at four, we might be able to soak. Oh, it only hit three times. Are you not loaded dice? That's totally fine, because Gleam's gonna fly here. Do some big time damage. Bitter Blade's gonna fly. Finish off Bax Caliber. I really like where we're sitting. I really like where we're sitting. Our, our Saru Edge is ready to roll. I'm telling you guys, if you get out the save light and Cerule Edge combo, Cerule Edge can set up no problem half the time. You might have to Terra sometimes, but it really works out well. So Corpus can come out here as the next Pokemon. Obviously, we just want to Bitter Blade into that. We're just going to gleam the finish off the, uh, the Grim Snarl, and then just keep going after that. I mean, seems pretty straightforward. But yo, look at my boy. Look at my boy. Ready? Ready? Check this out. Look at my boy. Plus three on attack and plus three on defense. And they have a bunch of physical attackers. That's so big. Plus we have Reflex all that. I don't think they're killing my Cerule Edge, right? I really don't see it happen. But he's going to end up terrestrializing. Probably into something that can soak up some uh, fire shots. We'll see what it is. It's going to be Straight Dragon. Okay, so Straight Dragon's not too bad. It's kind of dumb considering I have my Flutter main out here. Ripping with Gleams. So, I mean, we'll go for it. But it might just be like a last ditch effort for our opponent. We end up taking out the Grimstar, no problem. We're going to Bitter Blade. He's going to be able to soak pretty well. But we're still going to hit hard. We're plus three. Bitter Blade coming out here. And not very effective, but still absolutely dumping on it. Oh, we get a crit. Lovely. Lovely. It did not matter. But, yo, first match, we knew it was ours once we set up our first bulk up. Let alone two extra ones. We had three bulk ups. It was over. Three bulk ups and screens. You're not beating me. You're not beating me. Allow me to do that. Iron Hands could come out for the final Pokemon. It's over with. Another physical attacker. So I'm just defensive bulk. Plus three on defense. On top of that, I have uh, Reflect here. It's over with. It is over with. Our opponent cancels the battle, and what a dominant performance from Cerule Edge in match number one. Second match coming at you guys, and I kind of want to do that Cerule Edge combo again. That was awesome. Setting up the bulk ups just absolutely dominating, but we're going up against another team with Arcanine, Amoongus, and Dragonite. I believe in the last match they had all three of those Pokemon, but they also have Belly Drum, Azumarill, Titar, and Speed Boost as Pathra. How should we play after this one, and how should we do it? I think Deli Bird is definitely a solid lead. Super effective onto the Dragonite with Freeze Dry. Super effective onto the Moongus with Freeze Dry. Super effective onto the Zumarill with Freeze Dry. Super effective onto the Arcanine and Titar with Hydro Pump. Come on now. It's got to be Deli Deli Bird for the lead. Love this Pokemon. Might also set up screens with Sableye. That could also be very good for us. Or I can straight up lead a different Pokemon. Maybe like our Amoongus. Rage Powder Shots may put Pokemon to sleep. But I do like the screens. I really do like the screens. Could also go Dragonite. First turn priority is going to be good. Same thing with you. You're going to be good. You are going to be good. Who do I go into here? Hmm. I kind of like Cerule Edge. Let's go Cerule Edge again. Or I can set up screens. Again, screens are going to be our friend. But you know what? I'm going to go Cerule Edge here. I am going to go... 
Fluttermane? Yeah, Fluttermane's nice. And last but not least, Dragonite. I'm going to go two choice Pokemon. No screens, no support. All out attack. Let's look to grab ourselves someone here in match number two. But yo, that first match, that's how it's done. That's how it's done. Just the way that he, the, the lead of Pokemon that he had, I was just like, dude, I can set up a bulk up. And then the next turn came, I was like, I can set up another bulk up. And then another turn, I was just like, screw it. I'm going to go for a third one. And everything worked out perfectly. But Amoongus and S Pather is going to come out here. I can see Amoongus potentially terrestrializing. And from here, I might just bulk up. I really want to, but at the same time, I don't really want to. I feel like Amoongus might even terrestrialize here, right? I'm going to freeze dry it down. And I'm going to go into a... Let's shadow sneak you. I mean, I'd rather just bulk up at this point, right? I mean, you are special attacking, though. Bulk up would be nice. I'm, I'm just going to go for a bulk up. I'm just going to bulk up. I feel like it's a solid turn. As Pather could potentially protect. Um, Amoongus might even terrestrialize. That's why I'm free shrine into that slot. But yeah, As Pather does end up protecting. So bulk up's going to be solid for us this turn. I like it a lot. Uh, he might be putting me to sleep. No, you're just going to double protect. So double protect can come out here. That's fine. I mean, I can Encore. I can Encore as Pathra. Actually, probably not. It seems going to outspeed me at this point, right? I could Encore Amoongus. Unless it goes for like a Rage Powder. Hmm. I mean, I am... I am Booster Energy, which could be good for us. Run fast. Do you, I think you still outspeed as Pathra. I'm going to go for the Encore into the slot. I'm going to say screw it. Go for Encore in that slot. I'm just going to Bitter Blade Amoongus down. So he ends up Rage Powder. Mmm. Encore do me dirty. Encore do me dirty. So Encore's gonna come out here. We're gonna Encore this thing into Rage Powder. That's fine. So we know what's going for next turn. And I get to go for a nice lovely Bitter Blade. And this thing's gonna calm Mind Boost too. So now it's probably faster than my uh, Deli Bird, which kind of sucks. But I can still Shadow Sneak it, which is good for us. As long as I can KO this thing right here. Which I think we should be able to, right? Plus one? Yeah. Dumped on it. Get it on out of here, yo. So Rulage is insane. I'm loving Sir Ledge right now. Uh, Shadow Sneak definitely going to be our buddy here. I'm going to go for a Shadow Sneak. Chip up some damage on the Espathra. And we'll kind of go from there. I don't know if it's going to Terrasilize. That would be the real problem. But I might Terrasilize my... My Sir Ledge here. But yo, it looks so tough. Look at those swords. The colors on the swords? <laughs> Look at dope. And then the flames on the end. He's so dope. He's so dope. But I wonder, I really do wonder who they're going to go with. T-Tar's going to pop out here. Uh, I could Hydro Pump it. They might even Terrasilize that thing into flying. But I might go into Steel here. I might go into Steel Terra onto my... Oh, you have Unnerved. That's a little weird. I'm going to throw Hydro Pump that way. Do I Terra you? I kind of want to. I feel like that just gives us more turns. I'm going to Terrasilize into straight Steel. We're going to get Ripping because they could be going for a Rock move here as well. So, straight Steel is going to be your friend. The straight steel, we can, uh, I know what's called has fairy moves. As Panther usually rocks like Dazzling Gleam or something. And then Titar rocks rock moves, so Steel Terror is going to be really good for us. But dude, Cerula just getting after it today. He's getting after it so far. But I do wonder what they're going to do. They might even Terrasilize the Titar, which I think is an option. I was going to freeze dry into that slot, but I was just going to throw Hydro Pump instead. Play it safe, but they're going to end up Terrasilizing. Now, is that as Panther or Titar? It's going to be T-Tar probably in the flying, right? Yeah, flying is the best terror type for T-Tar. Whenever T-Tar is terrestrializing, it's usually flying. So he's going to end up going into flying. I can hit that thing with a freeze dry next turn to some big time damage. But I'm going to end up terrestrializing as well. And Shadow Seek should do a nice chunk of damage over onto s -Path, right? Should be able to do a nice chunk of damage, but dude, it's a rule edge MVP all day. Already. One and a half matches in this thing. I'm already declaring it the MVP of today's video. Protect's gonna come out from Aspatha, that's a great Protect. And hopefully my Hydro Pump can land. Can my pump get landing? Can we land this pump? Can we land this lovely little pump? We do not! That sucks, come on man. Dodge my Hydro Pump, Rock Slide does come out here. It's a really gonna be able to soak really well and that's just going to dump on my, my Deli Deli. Just rip it to my Deli Deli, but still, it's really soaks. We're bulked up on defense plus one. And then we also have leftovers to get back some of that HP. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because I'm just going to constantly shadow sneak this slot, right? I mean, you can't change typings. can't do all that. And then from here, I could bring out first turn priority E-Speed. I could E-Speed or I could just go straight into you, right? Would I rather, what would I rather choice to do? A power gem here? 
Or do I rip with like a Gleam? Because who could your back end Pokemon be? It's gotta be Dragonite, right? It's gotta be Dragonite. So I'm gonna stick with the Gleams here. And I'm just gonna Shadow Sneak this slot. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick with the Gleam. Shadow Sneak down the Espathra. And how much damage are we gonna do this thing? Wow. That's a big. Oh, a crit. Oh, a crit. We like that. Sword Power coming out here. Can you eat that? You can eat that. You should go next year as well. Beautiful. So Gleam's gonna fly onto you. Chip up some damage on the T Tar. I like that. And then Rock Side probably comes through, takes out my uh my Flutter main. Oh no, Fire Punch you're going for. And I'm Flash Fire. You can't do that. You can't do that. I got an ability. I got a cool ability that allows me not to take damage to fire moves, which is amazing on top of that Seal Terror type. It just takes out another weakness that you have. So Dragonite is going to be the final Pokemon. That's pretty much GG's, right? You can't outspeed my Flutter main. If you go for an E speed, I soak that up. It's GG's. Dazzling Gleam's gonna fly here, and then I might as well just Bitter Blade. Do I Bitter Blade you down? Or I could just straight up Shadow Sneak, take off Multi Scale. If you have it. Oh, yeah, we sit in a good spot. So I'm gonna Shadow Sneak again, take off Multi Scale if it's there. And it does sure seem like it's looking like it's there. And then Gleam flies through, double KO. Double KO, no problem. Yo, Cerulege lighting it up here in match number two and in match number one. We're gonna hop into a third and final battle. Look for a perfect record with this team. Final match coming at you guys. Cerule Edge has been dominating in today's video. We're going up against another Arcanine team. Three for three in today's videos going up against Arcanine. But they haven't brought it. Arcanine could definitely be a problem and shut down my Cerule Edge combo. But I still kind of want to go into the Cerule Edge combo and do it again. They also have the Golden Go, the Sableye just like us, and then Amoongus and Dragonite. So Fluttermane is definitely going to be a great Pokemon for us. Same thing with Cerule Edge and Sableye. So I'm just going to lead Cerule Edge Sableye. Bring them both again. Try to get off the combo. If they lead Arcanine... That is going to be a problem, but I could bring Deli Deli Bird in here so he can kind of counter up on some Pokemon. Considering he's going to be super effective onto four of these Pokemon, the Amoongus, the Rotom Wash, the Arcanine, and the Dragonite. Deli Deli Bird has to come out here, but we're going to hope that they don't end up lead Arcanine. If they don't end up leading Arcanine, I'm going to set up screens. I'm going to try to get some bulk ups going. We're just straight up attacking. That's, that's the plan. That is the plan, but Arcanine is a problem. It is a problem. But again, they haven't led it the past two times. We've seen that our opponent have it in the past two battles. They're not bringing it at all, so we're going to hope that stays true. We're going to hope everything stays the same, and we just rip up with Cerule Edge. Because this is the best I ever used with Cerule Edge. They end up going into Save Light and Golden Go, which is very solid for us. We do not mind that. I set up an easy Light Train. Um, I might even Terrasilize. I might even Terrasilize here. Yeah, I should Terrasilize. I'm going to Terrasilize, and I'm just going to bulk up. Give me the bulk skis. Give me the bulk skis. This Golden Goat might even terror or protect something along those lines, but yeah, I'm going for the bulk up again. <laughs> this Cerule Edge combo is insane. It makes him so good. It makes him so good. He's already very decent. He's already pretty strong, but now like using it this way, it's the same moveset and everything. And we're going to drop a nice lovely bulk up. Steel terroring. They can't hit me with fire moves, which is lovely. And I have leftovers. Love it. And we get off the screens. We get off the lovely screen. So there's Sableye just withdraws. I guess he, it, he was just there for fake out purposes. And then he went up against two ghost type Pokemon. And he was kind of scared of it. So we ended, you know, he ended up just withdrawing. The light screen flies out here. Shadow Ball coming in here. Into my Sableye. Yeah, you're going to go after my Sableye. And you're able to soak pretty well. Bulk Up's flying here. Sending it. Beautiful. So we get off the Bulk Ups. Um, we can now set up the Reflex. And from here, I could just straight up Shadow Sneak, or I can Bitter Blade you down. Or I can set up another Bulk Up. That is an option. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Bitter Blade this slot. Bitter Blade the Golden Go. He ends up withdrawing, and he's gonna go into back into Sableye on this slot. Rotom, so that's a smart little call. So Rotom comes out here. We have the screen set up. We're looking pretty good right now. We like where we're sitting. I was gonna Bulk Up again, but that's fine. I can deal with that. Let's see what Dragon Knight goes for. Oh, we actually outspeed the Dragonite. Better Blade doing, doing some nice chunks. And I might Encore whatever Dragonite's going to use here. Let's see. Wait, did he just use a move? I didn't even see what move he used. All I read was we avoided the attack. So I don't even know what he was going to do. Uh, I'm going to disable it. I'm going to say screw it. Let's just disable it and go from there. And then just Shadow Sneak down this road time slot. So Shadow Sneak coming out here. How much damage are we doing with the Shadow Sneak? Plus one. Chipping up a little bit of damage. I want to see what we're disabling. What move did we just disable? I don't even know. Thunder Wave. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. So we disabled the Thunder Wave. Uh, 
I'm gonna encore that thing into Nasty Plaza and then just start taking it out, right? Fire Spin's gonna come out here. That's fine. That is fine. You can't hit my Super Ledge with those. And yeah, I'm just gonna encore the Rotom with that. Encore Rotom. Going to Shadow Sneak to take off the uh, Multi Scale. And I could have actually bulk up again. I could have actually bulked up again, but I think we just hopefully hope that our opponent takes out my my Sableye as soon as possible, <laughs> and then we get out Deli Bird. But yeah, Encore is going to be very nice for us. A very nice little thing for us. Because he's going to Nasty Pot up, I'm going to swap into Deli Bird if he doesn't take out my Sableye, and we'll just go from there. Loving it. Yo, dude, this Sableye is where it's at. You're not allowed to Thunder Wave. We're going to Encore you into Nasty Plots. We're not playing around. Shadow Sneak coming out of here. If you're multi-scale, we're taking it off. Yeah, that's 100% multi-scale. And then Encore you into Nasty Plot. So go ahead, use Nasty Plot for the next three turns. And we'll roll out from there. We shall roll out from there. But yeah, you're all about the Nasty Plots right now. <laughs> you're all about the Nasty Plots. You go for the Ice Spinner. He going after it. Go after it. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. Come on now. Fiery Spin's going to do some damage. Do I hard swap it? Oh, no. That does KO. Cool. Awesome. Dope. Tao's gone. We get a free Deli Bird swap out. I'm liking where we're sitting. I feel like from here we just bring out Deli Bird. I actually could have brought out Fluttermane. Fluttermane could have got some work done. And I'm just going to bulk up again. I'll do it again. I'm just going to bulk up again. You give me no reason not to bulk up. Give me no reason not to bulk up. So now that this thing is encored into its lovely nasty plot, it's either going to swap, taking off all of its... uh. Special attack boost, or it's going to stay in here and die to this freeze try. So I'm just going to bulk up. I'm going to pop another freeze try. And there's the swap. That's, that's exactly what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. It's totally fine. He's going to go back in the same lie. Woo. I like what we're saying. I like what we're saying. Plus, this thing can't thunder wave me. And now I'm just going to bulk up again. I'm bulking up again. Let's do it. So out comes Dragonite with the Terra going into straight normal. And are you going for E-Speeds? Are you E-Speeding me? Cause that, now I can just bitter blade you down. Now I can just bitter blade you down because freeze dry is gonna fly. You're not east speeding. I wonder what you're doing with that. I wonder what you are doing. Bulk up's coming out of here with plus two on attack, plus two on defense, which is huge. And he's gonna go into a fire spin. So he's just fire spinning me down. And from here I could just protect. I'm just, I'm gonna start going after this. Uh, do I take out Sableye? Support Sableye is kind of annoying. I think I might just take out Sableye. I think I'm just going to protect you. Take out Sableye. And then go from there. So you might just E-speed my Deli Bird. It's a solid third match. But yo, so Ledge getting after it again. <laughs> He's getting after it again. With that coming out here. You going for E-speeds? Fake out. Oh, you faked me out. How dare you? How dare you do that? And there's the E-speed. There's that lovely E speed, and I feel like from here we just hard swap into uh, Flutter Main, dodge the E speed, and then go from there. Take out Sableye with this turn. Seems like our best bet, right? <laughs> Take out Sableye, and then we can just start ripping into uh, Dragonite. Yeah, any end saving our Deli Bird is going to be nice here as well. So, seriously, solid third match though. Dragonite's moves no longer disabled. It's all good. We're going to hard swap into Flutter Main. I can't be swapped out. Oh, I'm trapped in that vortex. That sucks. That honestly sucks. Okay, I guess I'll deal with that. We'll go for Hydro Pump. We will get rid of the Sableye. Any speed's probably going to KO me, right? I'm not too worried about that Dragon Man. I really am not. And we're able to soak really well. <laughs> Actually, really well. Hydro Pump's going to fly here. How much damage are we doing on that thing? Get off some nice damage. This thing's going to have a Citrus Berry. Long drawn out third and final battle. We still have the screens. I mean, they're wasting our screen turns rather well. Bitter Blade's gonna fly. It's gonna say bye bye to Save Line, no problem. See you later. We're plus two, and we're ripping. So they're probably going for another E speed. Uh, I wonder what they're doing with Rotom, because Rotom's gonna come out here now. I might be able to take out Rotom with the Shadow Sneaker. I might be able to. Huh. Because Rotom's definitely gotta come out here, right? Yeah, there's the Rotom. Uh. I don't think I take him out with Shadow Sneak. I don't think we take him out with Shadow Sneak. I think we just go into a... I think we just go into the Freeze Try looking for the KO there. And I just Bitter Blade down the Dragonite. 
He's gonna east speed. He going after here. Got it. Yeah, you gotta be going after him. That's fine. I don't mind that you took him out. Bitterboy's gonna finish this thing off, and I really wonder what Rotom's doing because I don't think Rotom can KO me. I don't think Rotom can KO me with Light Screen still out and about. We finish off the Dragonite. Another crit coming out from a Sludge. <laughs> this thing is insanely strong. And now I just bring out Flutterman because Flutterman can one shot the uh, the Rotom no problem, and Sludge can probably one shot this next Pokemon. Hydro Pump's gonna fly again. We have Light Screen. We're thriving. Oh my god, and you're so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is this team is insanely broken. This is the strongest Rule Edge combo I've ever used. Light Screen is finally gone. Actually, it worked out perfectly. That's about all the turns we needed from this. And now I can bring out my Choice Specs Fluttermane, taking out Rotom with the Move Blast, and then again, Rule Edge should just be able to rip into whatever Pokemon this is. Whatever Pokemon. And it's going to be the goal to go. Yeah. It's its game, set, and match. Good game. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. Moon Blasting right here. See you later. Bitter Bladen. See you later. G to the G's. Battle was canceled. 3 0. So Rule Edge did not die in today's video and pretty much swept every single team. It's insane how much stronger Cerule Edge is when it's paired up with Sableye. Bulk ups are easily set up. The screens help the whole team out be bulk. And Cerule Edge can pretty much just sweep any single team like we showcased in today's video. 3-0, perfect record. And Cerule Edge dominated in every single one of them videos. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.